Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to episode 11 of Monopoly Hut. And man, we have been rolling along with Monopoly Hut. I haven't been uploading as much as I could be. Uh, I just had a bunch of finals for exams last week. I am now done school for the Christmas break, so we are going to be rolling out a bunch of content. So get ready for a bunch of Monopoly Hut episodes. Regardless, we got to head to the board right now and roll the dice. Last time we ended off on two premium packs, I believe. So. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. All right, we're here, ready to roll the dice. Here we go, and we get a seven. I said seven, didn't I? We got a six. So looking at the board here, a six is, ooh, a six is chance, I believe, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, okay, let me go get the envelope. All right, guys, so this is the first time we're landing on this spot since we added it to the series. Um, we got the chance envelope here that I introduced a couple episodes ago. So we're going to go ahead and open it, just kind of mix all the papers around in there. And let's go ahead and pick out a piece of paper. I got two by accident, we'll throw that one in there. And this one is, open three premium packs. Uh, just to show you the proof there, open three premium packs. So, hey, the chance board was nice to us, let's go ahead and do that. Well, you know what I just realized? I opened up all those packs and I was recording just my webcam. Um, Pretty much, I'm not even going to show the packs because I can, I don't have the gameplay. We pulled nothing pretty much out of those three packs. Our highest overall was an 80 overall. Uh, I did a silver upgrade, highest overall in that was 78. But I was asking you guys, um, set wise, I have a bunch of gold players. Do I trade them in? It's 50 gold players for one gold collectible. Do I trade them in for a collectible to do a 1 of 3 chance? or save up for a master set player you guys let me know i need to know what to do with these gold players because right now they're just sitting in my collection and i already have one gold collectible so we would only need to make three uh yeah we would only need to make three so let me know what you guys want me to do with them man uh you know i don't want to make decisions on my own i feel like you guys should be a part of the series as well so let me know regardless today we have the chance of winning the div 7 title uh we have 10 points we need one point to win it with four games remaining hopefully we just get it in our first game and head into div six um so without further ado and hopefully no more messing up the recordings we're gonna head into game number one all right game number one of the episode like i said this game is huge we just need one point to win the title but obviously we want to get the w i think we only have one loss in the series total so if we can keep that going for a while that would be great but game one here we go all right looking at his team kutrov crosby ovi we're running into some good kids now, so this is going to get interesting. Okay, we couldn't, no one could get that puck there for some reason. Petrangelo, there you go. Get that to Phil. Phil Kessel, first shot on goal, continuing with his scoring ways. What a play from our first line. Make that one nothing. We're looking good so far. Phil from John. Ooh! You guys told me in the, the comments, we decided who's going to be our captain. We will name him after this game. Um, you guys probably already know who it is, but we're gonna name it after this game because I know who it is. You guys let me know. A big face off win. Get that across. There we go. William Carlson wasting no time on the power play. We get that puck across to Mr. William Carlson himself. He's continuing with his scoring ways to nothing. Let's go. Yeah, more fun playing with like a base team than my really good team on my main account. Is that crazy to say? Make that another power play for us here. Let's go, boys. I'm calling it now after that power play. If I score here, I think he's he's a goner. I think he's gonna quit right away. So let's see what happens here. A better a better start to the power play. I think we're scoring here. Yep. Evander Kane makes a three nothing. Wasted no time on this power play as well. I think we have three goals on three shots. Um, okay, I guess. I was wrong about the rage quit. He hasn't quit yet, so this is interesting. Oh, uh, I feel like I got puck there. We'll give him the P shot. I think it's fine. I can definitely save this. Here we go. Sergey Bobrovsky. Big goal. All right. It's fine. Gonna, here we go. Big breakaway. That's a trip. Make that a P shot. We're going to score a P shot of our own. Here we go. Jeff Skinner. We're going sweaty on this one. Here we go. Bang. Jeff Skinner. 4-1. I think we're 4 for 4 on shots still. Let's go. Yeah. All right. He's definitely gone after that pen that penalty he just took. I, I don't know what this guy's been playing. I was wrong. We're not 4 for 4. We're 4 for 5. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's 90% if I did the math correctly in my head. Make that a rage quit. We won the Div 7 title. One of the easiest games I will ever play of NHL in my life. 
So there's a confirmation of the two points. Obviously winning the Div 7 title in seven games, not too bad. Uh, we get the Div title bonus, so we get 2K for winning that game. That's gonna put us above 50K. Uh, we completed some objectives. And looking at the stats, I mean, I don't even know what to make of this game. All right, back of the menu here, there are the coins. We're above 50K. We completed some objectives as well. Uh, and some milestones, so okay, uh, we got 200 coins from the event progression, very nice. And what did we complete in the milestone? Make hits, we get an 85 overall loan Kendanico, which we will probably not use. And now we have our Div 7 title reward pack. I doubt there's anything in here for items, but we are obviously going to open it up. We're not just going to keep it in our inbox, so 10 game contract, Desjardins, Desjardins, whatever you want to call it, Tim Erickson, and another contract, so sick. With that being said, it's time to head back to the board and roll the dice for the second time this episode. All right, here we go, rolling the dice once again, and we get a seven. All right, guys, so seven is open up one premium pack, and I mean, is there even a point in opening this? We'll, we'll go ahead, we'll open it here, 150 points. We're not gonna pull anything because these packs are garbage, so we know we're just not gonna pull anything here. We just know it already. Um, I'm not even excited to land on this premium packs anymore because you're just not gonna pull anything from them I think I think that's a fact we opened up for this episode and I think our highest overall is gonna be that 83 Barzell, okay Okay, all right. Well, I guess you gotta trash on the packs and get something decent um, 83 Barzell will definitely make the team. I want to say 90 speed. He's got 74 face off So maybe we use him on the wing instead of center but an 83 Barzell not too bad and that probably will be it for the, this pack, which it was. But hey, a Matthew Barzell, not too bad. Kind of funny that we pull a Matthew Barzell. Now we're going to name our team Captain. Um, you guys in the comments last episode, I said Captain Morgan or Captain Johnny. Captain Johnny won. So, John Tavares, you are now leading this team to victory. To a Div 1 title. The first ever captain in Monopoly Hut history. There it is. Now we gotta find a spot for Matthew Barzell. So I think we're just gonna move Brock Besser down to the fourth line and we're gonna throw uh, Barzell here because he's a right-handed player. So let's throw him into the lineup and uh, we finally made an upgrade. I think it's been a while since we made an upgrade to the team. Matthew Barzell not now checking in as we lose Kyle Turris. He will be playing alongside William Carlson and Evander Kane. And hold up, I think we have our first synergy active here and it is DK. So, um, do your deeks, a plus three bonus of deep puck, and control and agility um, for those four players. So not bad, we're one off wingman and that's about it. But hey, without further ado, it is time to head in to our second game of the episode. Second game of the episode is a biggie. Our first game in Div 6, let's see how this goes. Second game of the episode and first game in Div 6. Let's see how better teams are gonna start getting because uh, the higher divisions, Probably the better the teams I want to say and maybe better the players as well. So we'll see. All right, McKinnon. Is that who's on the who's Messier? All right, well, we're facing a good team already. But hang, what a shot. That's got to bounce on one of our sticks here. Uh, point just turned the wrong way there. Okay. Big deflection. I should have went in to be very honest with you. We're literally just dancing in the zone here. We get that pass. Oh, that's got to get through. I think it's goalie. Oh, that's a penalty. I knew that was going to be a penalty when I went for it too, and I still went for it. He just dodged that hit. What a fucking save. And I took a tripping call from trying to dive to get that puck. Uh, my downfall is going to be his speed, man. That's for sure. Let's go, Skinner. What a look from Tavares. Jeff Skinner. Oh, what a take. Take that. There it is. Got deflected by Kadri. This has been a sweaty game. I've been quiet for most of it. We take a shot. It hits off Kadri's back and goes in. We're going to take what we can get against this guy because he has a very good team. Oh, uh, the puck getting lost in people's skates. I love it. What a fucking save. Holy crap. Bobrovsky saving our ass in the dying seconds of the first period to keep us ahead by one. What a save, Bob. After one, I mean, this guy just shoots the puck literally whenever he can, which, hey, you have a high-rated players, have a low-rated goalie. I don't blame you for that. That gets through. Just hit a body. That gets across. Tevu Teravainen, 2-0. What did I say? One more goal, and I'll feel way more comfortable. That's a huge goal for us, 2-0. <sighs> Sigh of relief right there. Bang. I love it. I love it. This is why you have to play the game properly, guys. 
Because, look, I just stood there, took my rush, took a shot, and it went in. This guy deserves that at this point. I don't feel bad at all. I really don't. Oh, what a block. I got in front of that because I knew that was going to just not go well if I didn't go take a shot. Oh, I should have went in. We're dunking. I don't care. Yep. I called him a scumbag for him going to dunk it before, but we dunk it here on Monopoly HUD, I guess. Brock Besser makes it for nothing. I mean, don't play it to my stick, I guess. After two, we just totally turned on the Jets. Like I said, he's just been shooting the puck, going for those low shot rebounds. I mean, if you want to try and do that, um, I mean, go ahead. I'm up for nothing, so at this point, I'm feeling very, very comfortable. Let's go, Tavares. Let's go. Back to Kessel. Kessel! Phil Kessel, what? An amazing passing play by myself. I gotta take a moment and admire that. And what a shot from Phil Kessel again, continuing his scoring ways. Make that 5 0. Captain Johnny with an assist as well on the goal. I took that play way too lightly. Do we. I guess I got. I guess I got coned. What a pass across. Dude, I'm trying to cone here. Well, to say the least, first game of Div 6 went very well. It was a sweaty one to the start. I do want to see what his team is looking like because he had a very good team. Confirmation of the two points in Div 6. Completed some objectives. And looking at the stats, we, we did play very well. And uh, we deserved that one for sure. So we're just gaining coins, man. Like 50k coins is a lot of coins, man. And uh, I'm really hoping we land on buy any players sometime soon. Because, man, do we need that more than ever. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this Monopoly Hunt episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are very close to 3,000 subscribers. If we can hit that before the new year, that would be pretty ideal to say the least. Also, guys, I need you guys to let me know what to do with all the random gold players we have in our collection. Do we trade them in for gold collectibles? Do we trade them in for icon collectibles to get an icon? You guys let me know. Uh, I want you guys to feel a part of this series as well. So give me your input, and uh, we'll see what happens for next episode. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.